This is a follow-up presentation on the ultrasound thyroid nodule and thyroid scoring which includes few examples on how the thyroid score has been calculated and their corresponding FNA results and the Bethesda score. So as we already know, based on ACR thyroid, scoring is done on based on five categories of ultrasound findings which are composition, echogenicity, shape, margin and echogenic foci along with absence or presence of cervical lymph node metastasis. So for the composition we choose cystic for 0 points, spongiform for 0 points, mid cystic solid for 1 point, solid or almost completely solid for 2 points, echogenicity we choose anechoic 0 points, hyper or isoechoic for 1 point, hypoechoic for 2 points and very hypoechoic with 3 points. For the shape, if it's taller than white we give a score of 3 points, otherwise wider than tall is 0. For the margins, for smooth and ill-defined is 0 score, for lobulated or irregular margins it's two points and for ETE or extrathyroid extension is three points. Now based on these categories we have to add the echogenic foci if none is present zero if large cometal artifact is present zero macro calc is one point peripheral broken rim calcification two point punctate echogenic foci three point. If we have multiple nodules we are going to score the highest scoring four nodules and then we put this all information in a chart. I have got a Word document format which I have illustrated here in this uh, blue and white text document image where I copy paste based on the features what uh, uh, feature for a particular category I feel this nodule belongs and then correspondingly calculate and add the thyroid score. A bit of word about Bethesda, the FNAC1 we know is insufficient, 2 is the benign lesions, 3 is the ATP of indeterminate significance or the intermediate lesions where follicular neoplasm cannot be excluded, 4 is the follicular neoplasm including herthal neoplasm, 5 is suspicious of malignancy and 6 is malignant papillary, medullary and anaplastic. Now first case here is tyroids 1 where we have a clear well defined anechoid cystic nodule. So for the composition we give a C for a cystic 0, for echogenicity A for anechoic 0, for not being taller than wide is a no, margins are smooth in S and a 0 and there are no A calcifications so N none. Gets a score of 0, TR1 it's a benign nodule, FN is not advised. Coming to the next lesion which is a large mixed solid cystic nodule gets one. It's hyso to hyper isoechoic comes of some component there gets one. So there is it's not taller than white margins are smooth there's no calcification so it gets two points and not suspicious. It came as benign follicular nodule with cystic and hemorrhagic degeneration. Coming to the next case, we have a large iso to hyperechoid solid nodule which is showing smooth well defined rounded margin. So S for solid 2, isoechoic S1, no for not being tall, S for smooth and N for 0, 3 points, TR3 moderately suspicious, biopsy is benign follicular etinoma. Coming to the next case which is steroids 4 with is step 4, we, what we have here is a 21 into 17 mm solid S for solid hyperechoic nodules with hyperechoic with a single arrow script score of 2. Margins are a little bit lobulated in some areas so it gets an L for lobulated in 2 and however no calcifications are seen so N for none. So total score becomes 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 which gives a score of TR4 moderately suspicious and the biopsy was suspicious of follicular neoplasm possibly maybe follicular variant of PTC as well. Coming to the next case which is again tyroids 4 how we got it we have got a mixed solid cystic nodule measuring 31 into 17 mm 
it's hypoechoic so we get another score two it doesn't it's not taller than wide margins are a bit ill-defined gets score of zero there's an area of peripheral calcification gets a score of two with score of five points is tr4 moderately suspicious and biopsy was bethesda 3 aus hurtle cell predominance Coming to the next case, which is again a papillary carcinoma, tyrates 5. We have a well defined solid hypoechoic nodule with solid gets score of 2, hypoechoic gets a score of 2 with not being taller and wide. Margins are a bit ill defined or maybe. Uh, may be lobulated and there are definite punctate ecogenic foci gets a score of 3 with a 7 points TR5 highly suspicious and biopsy was Bethesda 6 PTC confirmed and operated. Next case is Tyrets 5 where we have a 28 into 11 mm exophytic heterogeneous hypoechoic natio and which is showing heterogeneous vascularity as well and may be extending anteriorly into the strap muscles. So we have an S solid for two and we have uh, single arrow hypoechoic or it could even be a double arrow hypoechoic with two. Not taller than white so no and zero. ETE yes we are suspecting so it's three. There are no calcifications none with seven points TR5 and suspicious biopsy is papillary CA with intranuclear cytoplasmic inclusion. Another case, now this one is again Tarets 5, it's S for solid 2, very very hyperechoic, so gets a score of 3 and it is taller than white, so we get yes in a score of 3, margins are ill defined and there are no calcifications, a TR score of 8, TR 5, highly suspicious with this test 6 and PTC was the result. Next case is again we've got two nodules. It's a multicentric PTC which are very solid, very hyperechoic. It's not taller than wide. Its margins are ill-defined, but they're punctate foci, and of course they're broken from calcification. But the higher scoring uh, feature is what we are going to quote. So with a score of eight, it's TR5 suspicious biopsy is papillary carcinoma. Another case, papillary carcinoma. This one has also uh, got lymph node extension. So like we say, with the, the suspicious features we know are presence of the similar calcification cystic changes and uh, random vascularity in the cervical lymph nodes. So this one with score of TR9 is highly suspicious. With the metastasis, so we get a score, uh, we add the lymph metastatic score to the thyroid score of the nodule. So to conclude, ultrasound of the thyroid nodule is a very important task that we do. We must evaluate the nodule very carefully, use the highest frequency probe that is available at your disposal, get the features very clearly elaborated and you can use additional adjuncts as elastography and others which are not coated in tyrates to give an assess, uh, picture of the feature and with the correct documentation disperse your report. Mm -hmm.